Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Weston Boucher and I'm a model out of Southern California. Uh, the goal of my channel is to take my years of experience in the modeling industry and help relay that information back to you guys, whether it comes to personal style, uh, travel, grooming, um, health and fitness, and beyond. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know I have been plugging you guys with updates on my upcoming menswear line, Weston Jean Boucher, that I started earlier this year. And so this video is going to be a haul, uh, sizing, and try-on video to let you guys know piece by piece all about um, the fabrics and the fits and any other kind of information I can tell you guys about so you can get amped on the brand and see what's going to work best for you. Um, I started this brand because of my own frustrations which were trying to find essentials that I kind of wore all year long um, that I just found to be uh, incorrect whether it was the, the torso length or the, the arm size, uh, the fabrics, um, and I'll, I'll talk about that more as I go on each piece and why I designed it the way I did. And before I get too far along, obviously uh, you're wondering, is it launched yet? When is it gonna launch? Uh, I really appreciate all the excitement. I've been getting so many messages from guys and that's just awesome to know that you guys are just as amped as I am. Uh, because I'm doing this all by myself and I am new to the industry, so to speak, uh, there's just been a lot of stuff that I couldn't foresee uh, with manufacturing and stuff, but the reason um, I've been a little bit delayed is because I want it to be right. I don't want you guys uh, to order something that doesn't fit right or the quality's an issue. So I've had a, a few little hiccups along the way, but they've been blessings in disguise because I've been able to refine things even further. So with that said, I would say that I am probably at the most about a month and a half out uh, from launching at the date of this video. Uh, don't quote me, but uh, it hopefully it'll be sooner. Okay, so the first piece in the collection is what I have on right now. So this is the ex Essential Extended Tee. So although it might look just like a t-shirt, um, I don't know about you guys, but just finding a really good slim fit t-shirt uh, that isn't too casual um, is a, a massive struggle. Or I've, I've worn so many brands over the years having done modeling work and it shocks me to this day that it's that hard to find a lot of these staple pieces. So what I did with this piece is that I extended the torso, first of all, um, but I didn't do a split uh, hem. I didn't do like a scallop, uh, a, a rounded uh, hem. I might do that in the future, but I wanted something extended, uh, but I wanted it to have a classic uh, T look still. So, because I, I, I don't know how trendy kind of that is uh, in terms of fashion, maybe in a year or so that that style of tee isn't going to stick around. So, in my opinion, this is kind of what's going to work and be a little bit more timeless. But most guys have always wanted more torso length. Bend over the bunching up when you move around, and it's up here at your waist. It just drives me crazy. Um, secondly, uh, the fabric. So this has a rayon uh, cotton blend. So that means it's going to have like a comfort stretch to it. And I didn't want to go with 100% cotton because as you know, and you're probably in your own experience, after um, a, a few washes, cotton just looks like it doesn't hold the dye. It starts to look old. It starts to do this thing called pilling. Um, and so the rayon really helps with that. It just kind of gives it that fresh, uh, brand new look, even though it's been washed many times. And the stretch is, again, the main reason why I, I went with that. Um, another uh, aspect to the shirt is the embroidered insignia. Um, I'm going to show you guys close-ups in a second here of that. That's going to be on every single piece in the collection. Um, it's just a nice little touch that I thought added uh, some great detail to it. And uh, I didn't want branding to be too loud. I wanted everything to be clean because that's how I um, have always envisioned it when I go to stores and I'm just looking for things that I can piece together that, um, like I said, aren't too trendy. Um, but just have a really simplistic, minimalist look. Okay, so the next detail on the Essential Extended Tee would be the raw neck. Uh, so, as you can see, it's not a V-neck and it's not a full crew neck. Um, I like that it's just a little bit wider. I think that it's flattering um, on the physique when it's a little bit lower than a, a standard crew neck. Um, and as much as I like V-necks, I, I just feel like this is my preferred style of, of a neck opening. Um, the raw edge, kind of, if you can see it, 
is that it rolls over because it was uh, just cut raw. So when you first get the piece, um, it'll be a, bit, a little bit longer, but that'll naturally roll and it's got a really cool edge. It's, it's a nice effect. I think it looks really cool. Um, and if you can see, hopefully the camera will show you, I can show you on another piece, but this is the embroidery that's going to be on every piece on the bottom left of every shirt. And then, last but not least, this hem right here is just another design element. It's, it's purely aesthetic, but I think it's a cool little touch uh, so that it doesn't just look like you're throwing on a t-shirt and it's crazy, just casual. Just it, It's more, uh, it's, it's like casual dress if you pair it with black denim, for example. Um, I can kind of show you also, every piece has this label on here. And so it's kind of like a faux suede. It's really soft. It's a tan, tan finish. And it's kind of a debossed um, logo on there. So also a nice little design element that I thought turned out really good. All right, so maybe with the shirt off, you'll be able to see that a little bit better. Uh, this is the raw neck that I was talking about. So it's kind of a roll. And then this is the faux suede label. I think that is focusing, bear with me. This is a different camera than I usually use, but it just helps me to do things a little bit more unorthodox. And here is the seam on the back and the embroidery. Okay, now I have the Essential Extended Tee on in white. And uh, now that we're early on in the video still, I, I wanna mention that I'm wearing larges in everything. So I'm 6'1", I'm about 200 pounds right now. Um, I have a 32 inch waist. Uh, so for me, larges, I always struggle between going between a medium and a large for certain brands. And I'm sure you guys deal with that as well with sizing. Um, because these are slim fit, um, if you don't want that really like fitted look, you probably just want to size that by one. Sizing has been the biggest challenge in starting this brand because it's just very difficult to cater to every body type, right? So I've tried to be the fit model since I'm the most familiar with my body, obviously with a lot of different brands uh, through the modeling work, and that has helped. However, I'm still finding that there are a little bit of inconsistencies and I want to be totally transparent with you guys because as the brand grows, the feedback from you is going to help me to refine it because it's not going to be perfect right off the gates, but I am trying. <laughs> But you'll see this this large, I I personally feel like it has less of a shrinkage factor. That that's due to the dyeing process, uh, supposedly. I find that this one is is not too tight, where the black is just a smidge tight, even though they're both larges. So I will say that the the white is a little bit of a looser fit. It's still slim fit, but it's not quite as tight. So you know, that's something to just consider. Um, what you can do is when you get the shirt, um, you just don't want to maybe put the black in the dryer on high heat. I wouldn't recommend that with any of my pieces, but if you do tumble dry, just put it on low heat and then um, do a hang dry. Um, I'll talk about hangers and whatnot for certain things, to certain pieces too, because that's going to be really important actually with these different fabrics that some can be temperamental. So, <laughs> so the Essential Extended Tee in white um, is all the same different uh, designs uh, I mean, and aesthetics, I should say. Um, what else about this one? Uh, oh, this one and the other one right now are the black and the white, I should say, um, are the only colorways at launch, but I am planning to do a gray because I love gray too, and I know guys have already requested it. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing gray. Um, probably the I would say maybe next quarter or the first quarter of 2020. So yeah, let's move on to the next piece. Okay, so the next piece is gonna be the lightweight fitted sweater. This is my favorite piece in the collection and in this colorway. It just turned out so good and it is extremely comfortable. Uh, it does also come in black, I'll show you that next. But since I don't have it on, I can show you a few more details up close, a little more easy. It also has the same type of scoop neck as the t-shirt. Side hem, I mean the hem over the shoulders, kind of across or diagonal. And it also has the embroidered insignia. All right, so the lightweight fitted sweater. Um, the, everything about it's in the name, 
Uh, wearing sweaters can be hot. I live in San Diego, and although I love the sophistication and the simplicity of like a really clean looking sweater, they're always too thick. So this is a very thin viscose fabric, so it's extremely stretchy um, and it's very breathable. Uh, it's, it's very form-fitting, as you can see, it's, 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 when you first put it on, when you first take it out of the package, it's going to feel a little bit tight. But the cool thing about this fabric is that it's um, very reactive, so it's going to kind of mold to your, your shape and your size, so when you wear it the second time, it's going to kind of be where it was, you know, for your size as, as, it, as it expands over your arms and your shoulders. So that's what's kind of cool about it is it's not really uh, that tight at all once you once you wear it or if you wear it the first time and you just want to just pull on it, tug on it here and there, it's going to really loosen up and it's going to just, it, it's kind of in the description I say luxuriously laces over your body. That's, that's really the feeling. It is so nice feeling when you put it on and it, just like every piece in, in the collection, it does have an extended torso, so it's not going to ride out in the back like this. Um, it's going to stay all along, kind of just right at the top of your thigh, which I really like because I feel like that look across the board will elongate your body, make you appear taller. Who doesn't want that, right? So um, I have it at a three-quarter sleeve look right now. I, I like it uh, right about there, but it does have a long sleeve to it still, so if you wanted to wear it, kind of a little bit over the hand like that, which I see some tops. It's, it's a cool look as well, so you can do that too. Um, what else about this one? Um, yeah, same same neck shape up top. Uh, you're not gonna want to hang this piece in your closet long term because it's it's because it's a very reactive fabric. Hangers, even though these, these are great hangers because they um, leave the least amount of dimples because of the shape. Um, I have these in my Amazon shop, by the way, if you're just curious where to get them, they're actually Amazon makes them, they're pretty cool. Um, they're felt hangers, um, if you wanna just look them up. Uh, but you want to fold and keep this piece in your drawer. Uh, don't hang long term, or I swear you will get dimples right here and they'll just still stay there and it's pretty hard to get them to go away. Um, another thing with this piece is, well, I should say all of them, they, they have a minimal shrink factor, but again, don't do high heat. Uh, tumble dry, especially on this one. Um, it's just way too reactive. So I just say low, low heat, um, and then also do a lay flat when you dry it. Just, just put it laid out flat. Don't hang it to dry. Um, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, this one comes in this light gray, and then black. You can see here. I'll try that one on next, just so you can see the difference how it looks. But again, form fitting. But this is a large. Fits perfect for me if I were to go buy a large. Um, in most brands, they're just a little on the loose side, which makes me always have to go to a medium and then the medium's too tight. That's just like story of my life. So if you feel like you have a similar body type, um, you know, height, weight and all that, um, a large is gonna be, should just be spot on for you. Um, aside from the black being a little on the tight side, but it's really not that bad. I'm, I'm a little more in a muscular phase right now. I was kind of bulking, so I'm usually at 195. So, you know, with that taken into account, um, most guys at 661 around that weight are gonna do great with a large. All right, moving right along. So I'm in the lightweight fitted sweater in black now. Um, as you can see, it's a super clean look if you do it with black denim. Um, I just find again that my collection is what I wear all year, I just go for simplicity. Um, I don't really like trendy stuff. I don't like loud colors. Um, on that note, I likely will not offer uh, tops in, 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 or even bottoms eventually in colors. I'm most likely gonna stick with a monochromatic theme. Don't quote me though, because you never know. But at the moment, the vision for the brand is to stay monochromatic. Um, I do like black, white, and gray uh, for the spectrum. I just feel like it mix and matches really well. So, and black is a really slimming uh, color also, so it's just always on the flattering end, uh, in my opinion. And um, yeah, you can always take any of these pieces and throw a blazer over them uh, as well, which is kind of a cool option. Maybe I'll make a blazer. Um, yeah, um, since this top is so similar to that, um, I wanted to also bring up uh, pricing. So I'm trying to get it to a place where it's affordable luxury, like something that would be um, on the level of a designer brand, 
but not so crazy expensive because I don't like paying those prices either. Um, the quality is there, so these are going to last for years. This isn't like an H&M type collection where although they offer some really great styles and clean looks, their stuff wears out really quick and that drives me crazy. And the fits are also all over the map in my opinion. So this is going to be more in the realm of like Banana Republic or more of the hand-picked pieces you might find at Zara that just are on the priciest end. So it's somewhere in between. So. I'm thinking maybe on the low end, um, I might be as low as 39, but don't quote me, and maybe as high as 100 at some point for certain pieces. So it's gonna be in that realm. Uh, obviously it's based on my cost and then uh, the quality and how intricate each piece is. So, but I am trying to keep it fair and keep it relative to what I would uh, be open to paying for something uh, if it fit me really well and I love the piece. Oh, I do want to mention with the black in particular, because it's this viscose material and it's breathable, it is it is like slightly translucent. Um, so you can kind of see through it. So if you're a little shy about your nips, you might not want to buy this top. It's not that bad though. I, I feel like it's, it's reasonable. It's not like crazy thin, but the gray, you won't have that issue at all, just so you know. Um, this doesn't bother me. I love the look of it. Um, it's pretty. It's more of an evening top, anyways. Uh, so I still think the black is awesome, but the gray you don't have to worry about that whatsoever. But just want to be honest about that. Okay, next up, the merino wool fitted sweater. This is one of the um, pricier pieces in the collection for good reason. Uh, the quality on this is outstanding. Um, I'm so proud of how it turned out. Um, I'm gonna put it on and then talk about more details in a second here. But this also has the embroidery, like I mentioned, since I have it up. And all the tagging. Let's try it on. Okay, so this has a quarter zip or half zip. Um, it's confusing in the uh, fashion world. Those, those both kind of are one and the same when I've, I've looked up um, both definitions. They look exactly the same. I don't really see them going any further <laughs> for quarter or half. Um, it's a great look. It's clean. It's very sophisticated, even though it's so simple. Um, these also have extended length uh, sleeves. Um, I don't know if you have long arms, uh, but it's not an issue if you have shorter arms. It's going to bunch up anyways if you just kind of move around. And I like to wear this also, just like the lightweight fitted sweater at a three-quarter on the forearms. I think it's flattering. It looks cool. Uh, so my issue with merino wool sweaters and why I uh, would always be annoyed when I wore them, even though maybe the color was great or it was a really high quality brand, um, they were always too hot, first of all. Um, they didn't have enough stretch, uh, so this has a blend as well, so it's, it's really stretchy. And um, most important, they didn't have extended torso ever for, for a merino wool sweater. Maybe it exists, I have not found it yet. <clears throat> so it does go again to the top of the thigh. Um, the ribbing that usually uh, most uh, merino wool sweaters has is, is twice as, as wide as this. And I feel like that causes more bunching, so you end up with it like this. Um, if you've worn a merino wool sweater, you might know the frustration I'm talking about. I feel like this extension and that being half ribbing uh, helps with that bunching uh, quite a bit. I also mashed it for the half ribbing up here as well. Um, and it has, has a very clean kind of gunmetal color uh, zipper. And yeah, that is about it. But again, it's it's pretty comfortable to wear a merino wool sweater finally um, with this piece. It's it's not that hot and it's not that itchy. So so far so good. Last but not least is the untucked button up with a long sleeve. This is a really cool fabric. You can see it. I'm gonna bring. Um, probably put some b-roll over a lot of these pieces. Um, I mean, a lot of this footage so you can see the fabrics up close as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Okay, now that it's on, see it's got nice kind of taper, kind of a European taper fit to it. Um, it's definitely not loose in the midsection at all. Tightens up really nice along the lower back. Um, this also has a little bit of lycra in it, so there's some stretch. This I rarely find in button-ups uh, that are kind of a, a fabric that looks more on the 
darker end for whatever reason, uh, or I should say maybe a thicker fabric. Um, it's not super thick, it's like medium weight. Um, I was adamant about going with this fabric because when you roll it over, it has a really cool contrast. Um, there's, there's like lines that go through. Um, and because I was that adamant, um, the only catch is that there are in the seam holes, just a little bit of threading that comes out because of the nature of the fabric when it's slit. So when you're seaming, you just want to take tiny scissors and snip those off. They're not going to be on every piece, but it's just with this type of fabric, it can be frustrating. Um, but that is uh, a small, small thing for how great this piece turned out overall. Um, it has uh, these really nice kind of dark brown buttons, really high quality buttons also. They're all sewn in really well. I hate when buttons just pop off too soon. Um, let's see what else about this piece. Oh yeah, it's meant to be untucked, hence the name. So, we got some sirens. Hold please. And we're back. Hopefully everyone's okay, whatever's going on. Uh, so I forgot to mention, um, with the half zip rain wool sweater, it's a dark gray, and so is this untucked button up. Uh, very similar tones. Um, I really like dark gray um, for these type of fabrics because they're, they're much less likely to fade over time. If these were both black, they would eventually fade. Um, I found that with the t-shirt being a rayon type of blend, the fade doesn't really happen. Um, and the viscose has held up really well as well, honestly, so far with washes uh, for the black, which I don't have hanging there, but you remember it. Um, so yeah, uh, the cool part about the Untucked is that you can pair it with other pieces in the collection. I'll show you right now. So even though I showed you the uh, button up, un uh, buttoned, I actually wear it unbuttoned 90% of the time. I just think it looks awesome when it's paired with the Essential Extended Tee. Uh, this is obviously the black one. Uh, it's just a really good combo. I love it. Uh, I still get the little scoop neck going on there. And then um, I comboed it with uh, the extended stainless steel uh, pendant necklace. So this is a leather band. Um, I'll go into more detail about the necklace in a second, but it is reversible. So when I wear a black shirt, I have it on the black side. And then when I wear white, I put it over to kind of the gunmetal stainless steel side, which is kind of cool. Now I'll show you the white. All right, so this is with the white essential extended tee underneath the tucked button up cool look and then I have the extended necklace uh, on the stainless steel side just for a little more pop. Um, I was just thinking when I was putting this white t-shirt on um, how I talked about how the white um, in a large or just any size is just a slightly bigger than the black colorway uh, because of the dyeing process. Um, that's really minimal. I'm just super picky so I wouldn't worry about it. Don't feel like you need to get a different size because of that. But it will be something I'm going to address um, on the next uh, order uh, that comes through next year. So um, I want it to be super consistent. So if that bothers me too. Going to fix it, um, just so you know. But maybe you're going to love it in that size, the way it is, even with the, the shrinkage. You could let me know. That would be helpful too. Um, what else was I going to say? I was just on that point. Oh yeah, the website. So right now you can go on the website and look at all the photos. Um, they were all shot e-com style against a pure white backdrop so you can see all the details of all the fabrics because I know this video is going to show you, you know, how it looks on me and everything but you're able to zoom in and see it all um, and it's just evenly lit just get a feel for everything and be able to just read kind of a breakdown of all the features and the fabrics and, and, and probably answer a lot of the questions for you too. Um, on that note, a sizing chart, right? Um, people have asked me about that. Um, let me talk about that in one second. Um, they've also asked me about worldwide shipping. Yes, it will be available and I'm not gonna, you know, upcharge a grip. I'm gonna charge you what it costs um, and hopefully it won't get held up in customs, but it's everything so far with my necklaces have gone through okay as far as I know. Um, so back to the website and sizing chart. So that I'm working on right now because I'm still dialing in exactly how things should be after this launch, like, like pre and after because I'm going to get a lot of feedback, right? So I don't want to create a big chart when it's kind of in the midst of um, developing the brand, right, as it grows. So I will be putting up something that will at least tell you based on um, 
chest size and your you know torso length you'll be able to tell how big the fat how big the piece is and be able to gauge from there but i'm not going to go into super super complex sizing charts right off the bat because i feel like that will shoot shoot me in the foot um, and it'll just be um, changing most likely as we refine the brand and get more feedback from you guys all right so the reversible stainless steel necklace uh, with the leather strap um, I did extend it because it's along the same lines of everything being extended to elongate the torso I feel like it's a really cool look um, this is really high quality this pendant it turned out so good it's laser etched all the way through so the insignia goes from front to back all the way through and uh, you can also size it to how you like it so when you get it um, you can always cut off the excess once you get it to a length you prefer if you just don't want to rock a super long necklace. So this, by the way, is for sale and has been selling really well since uh, I, I announced it, I think maybe a month or so ago. I don't know, maybe it's been longer. So you can grab this right now um, or you can wait till launch because it's not too far away. All right, guys, so that mostly wraps up this video. I'm going to mention a few other things before I say bye. Uh, but um, yeah, make sure you go to the website right now because, um, or maybe by the time you're watching this, it's already launched. But right now, if you want to at least uh, seize the moment and let me know what you want, there's a button on each product page that says email when available. And when you click on that, you can tell the size and colorway and style, and that's going to give me a heads up and it will automatically let you know the second I enter in that things are in stock, you're gonna be notified. First one I know, you can go straight to the site and get those. Because the thing is, with launching this brand, I can't buy a massive grip of clothes right off the bat. Um, I have to do minimum order quantities. So it's gonna be pretty limited quantities. They're gonna sell really fast. I'm gonna have small, medium, large, XL. Those are gonna be the sizes for right now. I might change um, in the future if we find that slim fit is too small uh, and maybe it needs to be an XXL, but uh, I don't foresee an extra small coming anytime soon because it's already slim fit, so yeah. So in the meantime, your support would mean so much if you could uh, go ahead and give our main account for the menswear line, Weston John Boucher, on Instagram. Go check out this handle. Give that a follow and make sure that on the website you also just uh, drop me your email for the um, newsletter list because that's also going to keep you in the know um, you're going to be the first to know if there's going to be um, you know a launch sale any discount codes and make sure you follow the stories um, on the instagram account because there's going to be announcements for random flash sales and things like that as well so i think i covered most of it but i probably forgot something so forgive me leave uh, a, a comment below question Give me a like on this video. I appreciate it, it helped my channel grow. Thank you so much um, if you lasted this long. And I hope you're just as amped as I am because this brand is turning out to be something I'm very proud of. And um, I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time continuing to refine. I'm looking to add um, men's boxer briefs because I find that's also an area where that hasn't been perfected, at least for my liking. So those aren't far out right now. Uh, the gray in the um, extended tee is gonna be on the horizon as well. Um, and I might possibly do denim next year. Don't quote me, because we'll see how it goes. But uh, that way, because I find that I wear black denim with everything. Um, that's pretty much the majority of what I wear. And uh, you know, finding the right uh, fit is still challenging to this day. So whatever I come up with, I'm gonna try to improve on what's already out there. So I'm not talking. If you, again, are new here, please do click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.